This next quick plum lesson will be about drawing walls on your plan after you have imported a, uh, a file. To draw walls, click the wall button in the left toolbar. And then while holding the crosshairs of your mouse at the beginning of the wall, press the le left mouse button down and drag the mouse across the screen in the direction towards the end of the wall. All walls can be drawn in this same manner. For our purposes, we'll only draw the walls that are pertinent to the plumbing or the walls that surround the bathrooms and kitchen and areas where there are plumbing fixtures. Of course, we'll also need at least three outside walls to use as a reference for locating fixtures on the job site. Now you can change a wall by double clicking it and resetting any of the data that's associated with that wall. We can change the wall thickness to any of the preset given settings or we can type in a custom thickness in the text box to the far right. The wall height can also be edited in this window. The floor depth, which is visible in the front and side views, can be edited in this window. And the floor reference level can be changed in the far right window. We'll set this wall back to three and a half inches since that's how it's shown on the plan. We have one wall here that's a 2 by 6 wall, nominal, which is actual 5 and a half inches, and we'll place it there. Wall positions can be adjusted to exact dimensions by adding dimension lines. When you're placing dimension lines, from one wall to the next. Start at the side of the wall where you would like the line to begin and end at the side where you want it to end. As you can see, the line started at the top of this wall and ends at the top of the lower wall. You can also snap lines from from the middle of a wall or from the bottom of a wall, either side of the wall. And the same is true for the lower wall. You can have a line end in the center or you can have a line end at the bottom of the wall. These lines are updated any time you move the wall you'll notice when I click the wall while it's highlighted I click the arrow key indicating what direction I would like to move the wall you'll notice that all the dimension lines are updated to reflect the new dimension in this way we can position walls in their exact positions as shown on the plans And that's about it for our tutorial on placing walls in the Quick Plum Plumbing program. See you next time. Bye.